Towards the end of the Permian period, an overall hot and dry climate led to the expansion of deserts across much of the supercontinent Pangaea. The region which would one day become Russia was no exception, and the organisms here were forced to adapt to semi-arid conditions. The Dicynodont axosaurus was among the relatively few herbivores known from this area. Carnivores, however, were much more common, and species ranging from the small Cynodont divinia to the huge apex predator in Austransavia have been found to exist in these late Permian deserts. Falling prey to the numerous predators known from this region was an interesting species of armored herbivore. Scutosaurus was a large anapsid reptile which lived between 265 and 254 million years ago. Fully grown individuals could reach lengths of approximately 3 meters and weighed upwards of 400 kilograms. In order to support its massive size, Scutosaurus held its legs beneath its body, an unusual trait among reptiles of this time period. These herbivores had a stout body with a short tail and barrel-shaped ribcage. This broad chest is theorized to have housed an expansive digestive system, and is a trait which this species shares with many other Permian herbivores. A look at this animal's skull reveals that its cheekbones were large and flared outwards. This feature could be an indication that Scutosaurus was able to produce loud calls to communicate with other individuals. The short legs of Scutosaurus combined with its massive build meant that this herbivore could not sustain a high speed for very long. As a result, Scutosaurus was vulnerable to attack from large predators like the previously mentioned in Austransavia. To protect itself from predation, Scutosaurus had a thick skeleton covered with powerful muscles. These muscles were especially thick in the herbivore's neck region, a spot which was particularly vulnerable. In addition, beneath its skin were a series of hard bony plates or scutes which acted as a form of armor protection. Scutosaurus's head was also well armored, and was equipped with a number of spikes which protruded from its skull. Because fresh plants were relatively scarce in the semi-arid climate of late Permian Russia, Scutosaurus was likely forced to wander long distances in search of food. These armored herbivores may have stayed close to riverbanks and floodplains, where the more abundant plant life would have been a reliable source of food. To avoid clearing large areas of edible foliage, Scutosaurus probably lived alone or in small herds. Scutosaurus has traditionally been viewed as a terrestrial creature. However, some researchers have more recently hypothesized that this herbivore was aquatic or amphibious. This theory stems from Scutosaurus's low pectoral girdle, short yet engorged limbs, and the presence of thick cartilage on its limb joints. These features are reminiscent of the modern dugong, a fully aquatic animal. However, subsequent analysis of stable isotopes and fossilized footprints point once again towards a terrestrial lifestyle. With inconclusive evidence, Scutosaurus's behavior remains a mystery. This armored reptile eventually died out before the end of the Permian period. Nonetheless, Scutosaurus remains notable for its success in a harsh environment and for its interesting defenses against predation. <laughs>